Well, good morning again, part three. Let's get it finished up, so I'm with the trailer modifications. Um, I like to make them about 30 minutes long, no longer, because YouTube gets offended by how long you, you, uh, they are. So anyway, uh, you've seen me do this side, so I'm not gonna bore you with that side. I sort of do a time lapse now while I do the other side. And uh, when we've done that, we're gonna put the scraps on and test it out with the tractor. Thanks for coming along. Cheers for now. is there the battery died so if you don't see it just the these two top bars and that one I've just got to do the one over here okay All four supports, right? Well, there you go. All finished. I don't think that's going anywhere. 
So we've got strengtheners here and there on this one. You can't see it, can you? Let's put you down a little bit, let's start again. Right, there you go. You've got strengtheners up here on these rails. Got strengtheners down here. One this side and one that side on the rail. And then you've got the leg, which is down the bottom. These two legs, these two legs, that solid bit to hold it together. Same again that side. So what I'm gonna do now, I'll put you back up one second. So what I'm gonna do now, tidy up, take the trailer outside and get the tr tracked on it. It may not be the day, because it's getting late now. So appreciate you coming along. Been a bit of a struggle, I know, park freeze and all that lot, but nice to see you again. Cheerio for there.
Well, there you go. Apart from a little bit of tinkering, we should just see. I, the, um, do you know what, I don't know what they call these. These, that one being lowered down, the other one lifted up. The rear weight coming off and the adjustment of my pole stand. It works. Don't stick out a lot. Six inches, maybe. Six inches, maybe. Plenty of room in this area, though. I mean, I was a bit worried that it was too far this way, but you got a good three inches this way to go. I can go. Three inches. Not a great deal of problem. And a good two inches this side to clear it. As you can see, these things held up nicely. No bending, no movement, good as gold. I know some of you say, well, you've had to take some weights off and you're going to put them on when you get there. It's not an hardship, is it, really? Take it off the trailer, bung the weight back on, move them bald, whatever they are. Someone tell me in the comments anyway. Move them back, screw them back on. 10 minutes tops. So please don't say, oh, well, it don't fit because of that. It does fit. It's doing everything I wanted to do there. So apart from putting that plate back on, so when I'm using the tractor plow, I can use it as a proper trailer. What's to do with a couple of screws, probably? I'm not going to bore you. It works. Fantastic. Thanks for coming along. Do appreciate it. And uh, if you'd be so kind. I know I ask you a lot. And a lot of people do. Give the video a like for me. Would the Alpha Rhythm has given me a lot of aggro lately. The views are dropping because they tell me it's the algorithm. Okay then, well give me some likes for me. That'd be great. If you haven't already, think about subscribing to the channel. Helps the channel no end. So, from me, my lovely trailer, my beautiful tractor, my plow sticking out the back of it, like I say, six inches, ain't gonna do any harm. Cheerio for now, thanks for coming along.